now you have an inmate who died because of their failure to provide medical care. More trouble tonight for the Ramsey County Jail, already under the microscope for issues of overcrowding, understaffing, and medical neglect. Now, Fox 9 has learned there is a potential federal investigation. Let's get right to our Paul Bloom, who is tracking these developments with some exclusive details on this tonight. Paul? Kelsey and Randy, we know the Minnesota Department of Corrections and Ramsey County Health Department has had serious concerns about the safety and well-being of inmates in an overcrowded and understaffed adult correction center. But the Fed's potential involvement in allegations of abuse and neglect take this, takes us this to a whole other level. It really doesn't matter why they're there. If you're going to keep them in the jail or the prison, they're entitled to this care under the 14th Amendment. Attorneys Richard Student and Steve Meshbesh are confirmed Wednesday that federal authorities recently reached out to investigate the civil rights and medical negligence claims Marai Mosit Stafford has made against the Ramsey County Jail and its staff. The woman's injury so grim we blurred the image below her knee. In a federal lawsuit currently working its way through the courts, Moset Stafford claims several sheriff's deputies and a doctor violated her constitutional rights. Her attorneys contend these jailhouse surveillance images from February 2021 tell the story. A verbal exchange here escalating with the inmate tackled to the ground where she allegedly suffered a fractured leg and severed artery. And then Mesh Pesher and student alleged she did not get the emergency medical care she needed for some 17 hours leaving her with permanent deformities. And now we're here. And now the federal government is looking at them and the state DOC commissioner is looking at them and, and they need to make changes yesterday. The Ramsey County Jail has been under fire recently for overcrowding, understaffing, and medical neglect issues with the Department of Corrections ordering the Sheriff's Office to take immediate corrective action. Adding to the recent trouble, student and mesh pressure are now readying a second civil rights lawsuit this one involving the death of an inmate from last summer. They allege Dylan Bakke had a known health condition that required medical care, care that he did not receive after arriving at the adult correction center with a head injury. He died several days later. When an ambulance is a 30-second phone call away and Regents Hospital is geographically four blocks away from the jail, it's inexcusable. Meantime, as far as this apparent federal probe that's going on, the FBI and DOJ do not comment on any potential investigations, though we do know that injured female inmate we introduced you to in our story was referred to as a, quote, potential crime victim in a letter from the feds to her attorneys. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.